Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. Here we are again on Champions League Day, Newcastle United against Borussia Dortmund. I'm here in the big market, you might recognise that pub behind me, some of you, the Beehive, that really old character pub, dead popular amongst the locals here. It's already the big market filling up with Dortmund fans. Very different atmosphere to the PSG fans who were all very cloak and dagger, they didn't really drink a lot. Dortmund fans are here to have a good time in the bars, tanking up already. Singing the songs, one's already walked past us and give a bit, bit so of a. I think Dortmund wins today, okay? I think. Uh, <laughs> you tell game, me. Okay? Uh, uh, so, re what do you think the score's going to be? Because Newcastle, yeah, we beat PSG. Maybe it's the last game for us, huh? Mm, when we lost, it's the last game, yeah. It's possible. Because I think we win today. 1 0 for us, okay? Okay. <laughs> Have a nice day, huh? There you go. Dortmund fan, dead friendly. As you would expect, when you speak to Dortmund, Germany fans, you're going to find a Scot. <laughs> with, a big, with a big silver beard? Yep. What's the crack? Where are you from? Inverness. Why are you a Dortmund fan? I was stationed in Dortmund in the 80s. Ah. ah squ squaddy or Air Force? Squaddy. Yeah. Military through and through. Yeah, I like it. Whereabouts were you stationed? Dortmund. In Dortmund itself? In Dortmund itself, yeah. Oh, okay. Two tram stops down from the stadium. Yeah, yeah. Ah. I, I, had some, I was in the Air Force. Well, well, my apologies then. We like to say Her Majesty's Royal Air Force, actually. You mean yeah. you were like that crap? Like a little bit like that, yeah. yeah. And I, I, did two, I, I did some attachments in Gutterslow and Bruggen. Oh, God. Germany was fantastic, wasn't it? Great place. But those stations you mentioned are not my favourites. OK. Well, there's loads of beer. Yeah, but we only transited through, didn't we? Yeah. You were going there, off you pop. There's a plane, <laughs> off you pop. <laughs> so we never got the half the stuff you got, mate. So, interesting match tonight. Dortmund bottom of the league, Newcastle United. World champions, top of the league, how do you think it'll go? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obviously a Dortmund fan, so I'm going to say we're going to win. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I'll really laugh, it's a good game, good crack, good atmosphere, and of course, beer. Well, I've got some more Dortmund fans here. Guys, what's your names? Luis. Nico. Finn. And have you ever been to Newcastle before? No. I've been, I've been there once, uh, one year ago. It was a great experience, but yeah. And how do you feel about tonight? Because Newcastle United are, we're a very good side, very surprising. I'm a little bit scared. Scared, <laughs> yes, scared. But we will see. Yes, I will hope so. And um, that Dortmund will take the win. But I promise, I promise that that Dortmund will play better than Newcastle. But in the past, I would say that Dortmund is in good quality and. <laughs> <laughs> come in, come in, you. Yeah. Could score some goals against Newcastle. Yeah. yeah, I think it would be a tough game, but I think Dortmund going to take the three points. Yeah. So. And what do you think of Newcastle? Do you think it's a friendly city? Yeah, I think we met like few Newcastle fans and was very friendly interact interactions and yeah. Was Your English is better than mine. No, I don't think so. <laughs> but I think we're very friendly people. Yeah. yeah. I are you are you in the ultras? No. No, shall not. We are, we are friendly fans. Oh, <laughs> so the, I was um, experiencing the PSG Ultras, yeah. Yeah. and it was very hostile okay. sometimes. What are, what are the Dortmund Ultras like? Yeah, I would, I would say the Dortmund Ultras are very hard in what they do, and um, they could every second, could they hit everybody, and they were, could be every, very aggressive in every second, but... Um, I would say the um, Paris um, ultras are a little bit harder than ours. So I really think there's a difference between English, uh, German, and French fans ultras because, like, the French there's a lot with violence and riots, but the German, the Dortmund fans, like, it's most of the games is friendly. Of course, there are some sometimes riots, but most of the time it's just. It's like English fans now. We, we have lots of English fans. We just like to drink and sing songs. Yes. Yeah, of yeah. course. And, 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 and your have a good fan time. Fan culture is very different uh, than our our fan culture because of we have like um, places where you can stand and you only have like seats. I don't know. We we have safe standing. Yeah. Yeah, but um, I think it's very different to our uh, fans because yeah. we have a little bit different fan culture. Do you think the ultras would allow me? to be inside for the march? I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. 
If I ask nicely. So, you could march like in the back of the march, but in the front, Not I think. So I just rushed across there because I thought there was a load of Dortmund fans with their flags who were singing. I went across, started to take some footage, got some abuse. We're only from Middlesbrough, also. Yes. Welcome to Newcastle. Thank you. Thank what's, you your, what's your names? Christina. Frank. Frank. And you're from Dortmund, yeah? Yes, of course. Yeah, in the mighty Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, some viewers might want to know what does BVB stand for? Was? Wofür steht Borussia? Also, wofür steht BVB? Wofür? Das soll ich jetzt auf Englisch sagen? Das ist schwierig. Sag du das. Beispielverein Borussia. Ach so das. Okay. Äh, Ball Playing Club Borussia. Genau. Ball Playing Club Borussia. Right. So, tell me a little bit about Dortmund, the football club that we might not know. Something interesting. Irgendwas, was Sie noch nicht wissen, was eine interessante Neuigkeit ist. Eine inter oh, interesting news. <lacht> It's a very great club. Um, but they already know that. We, we yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the atmosphere. It's, uh, the yellow wall. Yes, uh, yellow wall. No, not only the yellow wall, all of them. It's uh, great. It's a perfect atmosphere. I think the best atmosphere in Germany. Many also, Europe. Many, I think <laughs> in Europe too. And are you looking forward to tonight at St. James's Park? Yes, we are. Yes. We are very excited. We saw the atmosphere against Paris. So uh, we're looking forward to have the same atmosphere, but we need to win. Weren't they just lovely? Look, there's going to be some idiots amongst the Dortmund fans tonight, just like there are idiots everywhere. But I have to say, and I'm not just saying it, certainly in, in my life experience, on my travels, the times I've been to Germany, the times I've met, met German people, they have to be some of the kindest, nicest and friendliest people I've ever met. Absolutely spot on. Love them to bits. So, my understanding is from the fans I've been speaking to, there's about 3,000 Dortmund fans here. I don't know how many tickets have been sold for, for the match tonight, but there's about 3,000 here. They're all congregating here in the big market, like I say, ready for their march at about quarter past to half past five up to St. James's Park. Kind of weird for that.